All right. Yes, I ordered a pizza. This week I want to talk about getting physically stronger. I get stronger when I devote a period of time to annihilating my weaknesses and I do a lot of foundational work. I know it serves such an important purpose that I don't view it as a chore or lame. I view it as what I need to be doing to get to the next step. Starting with the core because it's the most important because everything that you do is going to initiate from your core. Good athletes have very strong cores. This is pretty clever how I use the rowing machine to do the pike slides. And you can see that I made the hollow body hold more challenging by adding dumbbells to my feet and hands. Moving along to the upper extremities, wall slides to improve shoulder mobility and scapular stability. So I'm seated with my low back pressed against the wall and I don't let my rib cage flare up. I'm keeping it down. It's a lot harder than it looks. At least it is for me. I often will use the PVC pipe to help me with my shoulder mobility. I also use the bands as well. Now I have one side that is stronger than the other side. That's why I like to devote a lot of time to doing unilateral strengthening so I can annihilate my weaknesses. Here you see me doing unilateral isometric holds and I just throw in things like lunges with that. Oh, hi Coco. And same concept again, this time I'm doing it as a farmer's carry. Oh, he's so cute, Bean. He wants me to play stick, but I'm in the middle of my farmer's carry. Here you see me seated and I'm doing unilateral Arnold presses with 20 pound dumbbell. Moving along to lower extremities. So I like to improve the mobility in my quads. You see me doing foam rolling with the tacking. So I bought this pro stretch when I was a physical therapy student and I use it to stretch my calves and by leaning forward you also can stretch your hamstrings. And another way I like to stretch my calves is by pushing my heels into the ground and it really burns. Stretching is an awful lot like flossing your teeth. It's one of those things that we know we're supposed to do daily but not a lot of us are willing to commit to actually doing it daily. So with stretching for me what was it that motivated me to suddenly start doing it daily? Well, I realized I wasn't going to be able to learn how to do Olympic weightlifting, how to do front squats, even how to just do a basic air squat if I didn't have adequate mobility. So I realized it was really holding me back. It was preventing me from moving well, and it was causing me so many muscle imbalances that I was constantly getting injured. So that's why I like to stretch. Moving along, so here you see me doing my straddle hip circles in both directions. And I do banded clamshells, or I'll also do unilateral glute bridges before I start working on my squats. I like to warm up with air squats, and I will hold my bottom position in a nice active position. And if you want to learn correct air squatting technique, I made a video for this, so you can click the card. Now, if you want to learn how to improve your air squat technique, I made another video for that, and you can click the card for that as well. Okay, moving along, I want to show you a bunch of the accessory leg work that I did this week. Now, you'll notice I predominantly do unilateral work, and I just wanted to show you this because Bean's flinging all over the place and it's hilarious. So this is the single leg deadlift. And I don't want you to think that I do all these exercises in one day. You'll notice my outfit changes. So I filmed these throughout the week. So I just pick a couple things and I'll work on that each day. What's going on here? So I'm doing pistol squats and you can see I have two plates on the stool. So as a progression, I will take one of the plates off to make it more challenging. And I've discovered that I have one leg that is stronger than the other leg, hence me constantly doing accessory work and unilateral work so that I can get more balanced. So you can see I can do it on this leg. So for the other leg, I'm using the rings to help me out. These are reverse deficit lunges in a front rack position and my knee taps down on that mat each time. And by the same token with the split squats, you can see my knee taps down on the mat. Okay, this exercise killed me. That was 50 pounds, and afterwards I was huffing and puffing and sweating like a pig. Okay, the barbell is out. 
and I'm doing my walking lunges and my front squats and that's why you need to be able to air squat properly what's being doing <laughs> and of course my back squats and you can see that I have my hips going below my knees so I am squatting below parallel so I hope you'll give some of these exercises a whirl and stretch like me wow Back in the staircase sweating. Such a good workout. If you live in a condo or an apartment, you gotta do the stairs. I do two stairs at a time. Wow. My sponsor BSN sent me a clothing kit. I cannot wait to try all this on. And I have a whole new wardrobe now for all my workout videos. I feel pretty special. Thank you very much, BSN, for taking such good care of me. I am blessed to be part of such an elite team. Finish first. Oh yeah, I give this 10 BSN protein shakes out of 10 BSN protein shakes. Did you know that BSN invented a protein bar and it's now available? Now I did try the free samples back at the Olympia. So freaking good. Like imagine a Rice Krispie square enhanced with BSN synthesis protein. Mine will be arriving in the mail next week, so I'll be able to open them up and show them to you in extreme detail. I am giving away one box of protein bars to one lucky entrant, and you can click the card to enter my giveaway. And don't worry, it doesn't matter when you see this video because I always have giveaways going, courtesy of my sponsors, bodybuilding.com and BSN. This is a healthy pizza. It's multi-grain crust loaded with extra chicken and there's broccoli and mushrooms and tomato on it. I asked them to go light on the sauce and light on the cheese. So, you know, a lot of people view pizza as a cheat. The way I ordered it, I don't really view it as a cheat. What I love about my fat loss fast system is that you can ensure you meet your macro and micronutritional needs while achieving satisfaction because you have the option of food variety. You made it to the end of the video. Now you see the truth. You see how much time I put into my mobility work and the accessory strength training. Call it whatever you want to call it, but I call it doing things in a logical sequence. I don't think it's a good idea to put the cart before the horse. I think it's way sexier if you can post a video of yourself doing a perfect air squat than it is if you post a video of yourself back squatting 180 pounds with crappy technique. You're only gonna end up hurting yourself and retarding your own fitness. <laughs> Just take the time to go to the basics and do those well. And then when you get good at the basics, revisit them again and get even better at them. Do it well. So I ask you to post videos of yourself doing the foundational work and go ahead and tag me at Dr. Sarah Salmon because I wanna see it. That's that. So leave me your comments below, and of course, you know, you got that like button and all that other stuff. And don't forget to subscribe or else your cat will barf on the rug. Let me get off the floor and go onto the rug and barf on the rug.